If relationships are going to continually grow, we need to work on them. We need to enhance them. Angie Harvest, Angie Harvey tells us how. Absolutely. I think that the number one thing I would say is to be aware of what is needed in the relationship. In order for something to grow, you have to be clear about what it has and what it doesn't have. I definitely ask people to take a relationship inventory. You talk about what you have a lot of, what you have a little of, and what you need more of. Just like in a store. Like, okay, we need to increase this sex, let's say. <laughs> or we need to decrease the, the, the uh, ineffective communication. So in, in order to take an inventory, you have to be clear with your partner, being able to communicate what is needed what we have not enough of and what we have enough of. So I, I absolutely, uh, there's a, a relationship report card that I've actually put together because I don't think that things should be of surprise to people in relationships. You should absolutely know what is happening. So if you enjoy this to happen and this to happen, how your partner, your spouse is doing in making those things happen. So you have to be able to talk about what is needed. and. Dr. Jim, you would be so surprised at how many people aren't able to say, this is what I need, this is what I desire, this is what I want. There's a, a fear or an anxiety or a doubt that they're going to get it because they never got it before. They used to get it and they don't get it any longer. And pe many people don't talk about those things and that's very tragic. You also, in order for anything to grow, you have to be willing to work. You have to be open to that work. You have to be willing to uh, kind of put yourself out there. And the only reason I'm saying put yourself out there because many people believe to discuss what their thoughts and their feelings are is actually leaving themselves, again, exposed, leaving themselves a little vulnerable. And as a partner, we need to listen and process rather than interrupt and say, but how I thought you wanted, right? Exactly. Listening. There is definitely a difference between hearing someone and listening to someone. Listening requires you to be focused in on what they're saying and not just already formulating your opinion, your rebuttal, uh, which is very difficult for a lot of people. So a lot of times I tell couples, write things down. Be okay with you speaking to me, taking notes so that I can come back to it. So that way I can hear you and also be able to come back to the thought that I had. Many people aren't able to do that. You also have to be open to the needs of your partner. Many people are not, oh my goodness, and it's absolutely incredible, many many people in relationships are not open to the needs of their partner. They could know that their, their husband absolutely adores being greeted at the door, but not do it. They can uh, uh, understand that their, their wife absolutely likes to be cuddled at night and not do it. And it blows my mind that people know these things about their partners and don't do them. And it takes less than a second to hold someone's hand. If, if your, your wife or your husband likes to hold hands to do that, uh, many people aren't open to those things and for whatever reason a lot of times you build up a lot of baggage in relationships and so people then are being uh, re retaliating I didn't get dinner last night I'm not holding your hand tonight and that could go on for years and years and years and it's very unfortunate but you have to be open to the desires of that and then also speak into existence what you'd like to have happen in your relationships don't say oh no he'll never take me on vacation or oh, I'll never get him to do this or oh, no he'll never do that you have to say you know what we're going to go on vacation next year where he's going to hold my hand at dinner time. He's going to sit on the same side as me. And those things are important. Yeah, they're, they're, they're tremendously important. Angie, thanks so very much. And thank you for being with us on Healthline today. And we'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks so much.